Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, in how many ways can we distribute 10 identical pens to 4 boys so that each boy gets at least one pen? So what is the given question? There are 10 identical pens and these 10 identical pens are to be distributed to 4 boys and each boy should get at least one pen. So how it can be done? So each boy should get at least one pen that is the first condition so we can give one pen each to each boy so one pen is given to first boy another pen is given to second boy third pen is given to third boy and fourth pen is given to fourth boy these are identical pens so that is the main point here so in this video we are going to study a new formula for the distribution of identical objects among R people or among N people. So since these are identical whether the first pen is given to first boy or the first pen is given to second boy or it is given to third boy it does not matter all the pens are identical there is no difference between the first pen second pen and third pen and so on all the pens are identical. So we are distributing four pens each to four boys then how many pens are remaining six pens are remaining. So now our challenge is to distribute these 6 identical pens among 4 boys. So how you can distribute 6 pens to 4 boys? The question reduces to that. We had 10 identical pens but we gave 1 pen to each boy. So 4 pens gone. So we are having 6 pens remaining. So these 6 pens are to be given to 4 boys. So how it can be done? So the formula is the number of ways in which n identical objects can be divided among r groups. Okay. So n identical objects are there and this n identical objects are to be distributed to r people or r groups. Okay. R is the total number of people or R is the total number of groups or something like that and we are having n identical objects. So how you can divide these n identical objects to r people or how many ways you can distribute n identical objects to r people. So the formula is n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1. So this is the formula. If you are finding out n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 you will be getting the number of ways in which n identical objects can be divided among R people or R group. So let us apply the formula here. What we will be getting? Here n is equal to 6. We are having 6 identical pens and R is equal to 4. You are asked to divide 6 identical pens to 4 boys. So what will be your answer? Your answer will be 6 plus 4 minus 1 C 4 minus 1. N plus R minus 1 C R minus 1. So what you will be getting? It will be equal to 9C3. So 9C3 means how you can apply the formula? It will be 9 into 8 into 7 divided by 1 into 2 into 3. This is how you can write the formula 9C3. So what you will be getting? Cancel out 9 and 3 and 2 and 8. So finally you will be getting 12 into 7 is equal to 84. So there are 84 ways in which 10 identical pens can be distributed to 4 boys so that each boy gets at least 1 pen. Now let's go to question number 2. In how many ways can 10 identical bananas be distributed among 5 distinct monkeys? So here also it is a question of distributing identical objects among people. So here the people are monkeys. There are 10 identical bananas and you are asked to divide these 10 identical bananas among 5 monkeys. So you are having 5 monkeys and 10 bananas and the main point to note here is that these bananas are identical. So how you can divide these 10 identical bananas among 5 distinct monkeys? So what is your formula? You are already having the formula like when there are n objects to be divided among r people you can write the formula as n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1. So here applying the same formula you will be getting n is equal to 10 and r is equal to 5. So you will be getting 
10 plus 5 minus 1 c 5 minus 1 these many ways will be there that means 14 c 4 so 14 c 4 is equal to 14 into 13 into 12 into 11 the whole divided by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 so you'll be getting 3 and 4 can be cancelled out 2 and 14 so 7 will come here so it will be equal to 13 into 11 into 7 which gives you 1001 so 1001 ways you can distribute 10 identical bananas among 5 distinct monkeys next question in how many ways can 20 identical ice creams be distributed among 8 children so that each student gets at least one and exactly two students gets at least two ice creams each so this is a very interesting question so what is given there are 20 identical ice creams okay 20 identical ice creams are there and how many students we are having we are having eight students and we have to distribute these ice creams among students so that each student gets at least one and exactly two students will be getting at least two ice creams each so first condition is each student should be getting at least one ice cream so we will be giving one ice cream each to each student so at least one ice cream means we will be just giving one ice cream to each student so it can be done in one way only because all these ice creams are identical so we are giving one ice cream each to each student so how many ice creams gone eight ice creams are gone so we are having 20 minus 8 is equal to 12 ice creams so 12 ice creams are remaining now the second part of the question is exactly two students gets at least two ice creams each so again that at least weight is coming so two students should get at least two ice creams each exactly two students so these two two students are given again one one ice cream each so which two students any of these two students can be selected so how you can select two students from the given eight students you can do it in eight c2 ways so eight c2 ways you can select any two students and you give them one ice cream each okay suppose just here we are taking s5 and s6 so s5 s5 and s6 are given one ice cream each again so this you have to find out how these two students are selected from the given eight students it can be done in eight c2 ways which is equal to eight into seven divided by one into two which gives you 28 seven into four is equal to 28 so there are 28 ways in which two students can be selected from the given eight students now again two one ice cream each given to s5 and s6 so how many ice creams are remaining now 10 ice creams are remaining so what is our question exactly two students gets at least two ice creams each so only exactly two students will be getting at least two ice creams or more these two students are eligible to get more than two ice creams at least they have to get two ice creams it means that they can get three or they can get four or they can get five or whatever way and exactly two students only should be getting so no other students will be getting more than one ice cream only these two students will be getting at least two ice creams at least tame indicates that they can get even more than that so our task is to now divide the 10 ice creams remaining among these two students only these two students are eligible to get more than one ice cream and since both the students should get at least two ice creams only we gave here one ice cream each that is how only 10 ice creams are remaining and now these 10 ice creams can be given to these two students in any way either we can give one ice cream to s5 and s6 may not get anything or you can give one ice cream to s6 and s5 may not get anything or you can give again two ice creams to s5 three ice creams to s5 likewise any way you can distribute these 10 ice creams to these two students so how it is done what is the formula for that these are 10 identical ice creams it is a key point here 10 identical ice creams and therefore our formula is n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 
n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1. So, here n will be 10, n is equal to 10 and r is equal to 2. So, you will be getting 10 plus 2 minus 1 c 2 minus 1, which will be giving you 10 plus 2 11, sorry 10 plus 2 12, 12 minus 1 is equal to 11. So, it will be 11 c 1, which will be equal to 11. You already had two students are selected from 8 students in 8 C2 ways and now you got 11 ways you can distribute these 10 identical ice creams among 2 students. So, in order to get the total number of ways you have to multiply. So, total number of ways will be equal to 28 into 11 which is equal to 308. So, there are 308 ways in which these ice creams can be distributed according to the conditions given in the question. Thank you for watching.